Hello everyone! My name is Danny. It is great to see you today. It is one in the morning here, I believe, right? Or is it midnight? It's midnight, and today, everyone, we're about to go on a first date. You know, we could have gone out to like a really nice restaurant, saw a movie or something, right? But uh, I wanted to treat you to something a little uh, special. <laughs> today, everyone, I'm gonna teach you how to make a first date dinner, and also hear about your worst dates of all time. I asked you guys on Instagram to tell me your worst date story, and y'all delivered. So today, everyone, I will be cooking you and me a steak dinner while listening to your horrible past partners and your worst dates and how I'm so much better. I'm gonna read about your worst dates. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's make this dinner. I have not eaten dinner yet. It's late. I'm really hungry. I'm also smart and I actually left out my steak to defrost, thank God. Well, I made steak on a stream once before and I didn't do that. That was a bad idea. But now we got steak, so let's do this. All right, so first you gotta set your oven to 550 degrees on broil. Right, broil, broil, right? Broil, 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 broil! Then everyone, we must create a bed of vegetables. Now in order to do this, you're gonna need two yellow peppers, two red peppers, and cherry tomatoes. I don't know how I have so much energy right now, but I do. I'm gonna crash in a bit, I swear to God. So first step is you have to cut all of these up into little dices. Dicing is fine with the peppers, or you can just slice them, but the cherry tomatoes do need to be cut pretty thin. I'm gonna just start by cutting that pepper open in half. Cutting it half down the middle again. You don't need to actually eat the peppers, so it's not actually super important to like actually have them really nice or anything. Again, they are just for the steak to lay on to add some flavoring. And while I cut these up, I should probably answer some questions, shouldn't I? He made me food at home that gave me food poisoning. Uh oh. Hopefully I don't give you food poisoning, okay? That would suck. Oh, here's a gross one. He was so nervous that he actually peed his pants, then left. I mean, some people are into that. I don't know how there's like any recovery from that. I'm gonna be honest. Pissing all by yourself, Hans. <laughs> if you're actually cooking for two people, you usually do need two peppers. I'm not though, so I'm only gonna use one of each. I'm not trying to be wasteful. I'm gonna make some more of this for myself this week. It's a good steak dinner, so uh, I wanna save it. She sat on a fire ant pile. Ants crawled up her shirt and she, what? They bit her all over her body and she had to take all of her clothes off and get water poured all over her. Dude. That sucks. Like that actually legitimately sounds like super painful. I hate ants. I've told you all this before, but I have like a slight fear of ants. I don't know if y'all knew this, but I do. It's not like huge, but like I just don't like them very much. They gross me out a little. And I know they're like good and everything, but they remind me of like dirty things. So like a reason why I'm hyper clean is because like one of my first ever real panic attacks at a child was because of ants. I was traveling with my family and we were at this really nice hotel, but I went into the bathroom and when I went into the bathroom, there were ants all over the place, almost on like every single surface. Freaked me the hell out. So uh, yeah. Pretty gross. All right, now now I'm done with the peppers, so now we need to move on to the tomatoes. But instead of being used a knife, let's get a little creative with it, shall we? All right, cherry tomatoes. You've met your match. All right, let's see if I can actually cut this. Okay, that exploded. <laughs> Literally, it exploded. <laughs> All the seeds flew out the back and it didn't cut. Come, come back. Fuck. Yeah! There you go. That's how you cut a cherry tomato. <laughs> oh! Oh, I hate cherry tomatoes. Oh my god, that. Oh God, that legitimately hurt. I hate tomatoes. I'm crying. I heaved so hard, it was that gross. Okay, come on. Just like two, come on, be weak one. I missed. Okay, I did cut it that time. Yeah, there we go, it exploded a little bit, but it cut. I'm not putting tomatoes on this. All right, so now what I gotta do with these peppers is I have to arrange them on a layer and on the sheet right here. So I'm only gonna be really doing one because I, I, I'm only cooking for one. I'm all alone. I am just gonna layer them in a way that isn't like crazy and it's pretty, it's gonna be pretty small comparatively to what you would usually be doing if you're cooking for two or like multiple people. It just really depends on how many of uh, like people you're cooking for basically. But I am just adding all of these peppers in an area that would fit my filet mignon. Freaking love filet, it's good. There you go, that should be solid. Now next up you need to have White onions. I was trying to only buy one, but you can only buy them by the bag. So uh, now I have a bunch. Single onion. The rest can uh, go in the trash, I guess. Damn it, I should clean that up. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just slice this onion. You should always be careful when cutting round fruits and vegetables because they can roll and you don't want that because you'll get hurt. So make sure to always cut the ends off so you have a flat cutting surface and then dice away. Ironically, 
really effective dicing method. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay these layers out on top of the peppers. Now what we do is season the steak a little bit. Steak, 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 steak! It is late, I am sorry. That rhymed a little bit. Steak, snake, late. Okay, that actually doesn't. Why do I think it rhymed? Steak and late do not rhyme. It sounds like it does, but it like almost does. Now what we gotta do is put the steaks on here. So you guys don't have to use, but raw meat can harbor a lot of diseases. So oftentimes when I'm working with raw meat, I like to put gloves on. Get on. There we go. Damn, that actually worked. I'm impressed. Now you grab your two pieces of filet. Well, for me, it's only one. Plop it down. And now we go to season it. So the thing I'm gonna season it with is magic seasoning blend. Meat magic. And also, truffle salt. Usually the recipe requires just, uh, just seasoning, but I like the truffle salt. So we're gonna put a teaspoon of this seasoning on top, spread it around a little bit. Do you like how I handle my meat? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna rub my meat. <laughs> Sorry! Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna rub my meat. Rub that in and then add just the tiniest bit of truffle salt. And I'm just gonna rub the, I'm just gonna rub my meat in it. I am a child. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna rub my meat in. <laughs> what a great impression on a first date, am I right? <laughs> Next up, one tablespoon of olive oil drizzled on top and then one tablespoon of salted butter. Have you guys ever had raw butter? I never have. Is today gonna be the day I try raw butter? It might be. Get this on top. There you go, that's nice. I mean, it's not great. I know people who eat raw butter, like, this is what you're getting? It's weird. It's weird, I don't like it. Then what you do is you put it in the oven for five minutes. Before doing that, I'll look at some of your guys' stories. We were out on a date and it was going really well until I gave him a hug and he got hard. Bricked up after just one touch? It was me, Barry. It was me who jacked you off at super speed, so it looked like you came at a woman's touch. It was me, Barry. God, just one hug? Damn. All of them were horrible because they were not with you. <laughs> we were eating at Olive Garden and he had a piece of cake and one bite in, he threw up onto the table and onto me. One piece of cake? One touch, one cake. What is going on with these people? Was the cake really that bad? Like, it couldn't have been, right? Throw up after one bite of cake. What would make you do that? It can't be the cake. It's gotta be like something in the rest of the meal, right? How does that happen? This guy and I were on a date and I thought it was going really well until he called his friend to come because he was bored. Jesus Christ, that is disrespectful. He couldn't have just said, hey listen, I don't think this is really working out. I'm just not having the best time. Instead he goes, yo, homie, this girl is boring as f slide. God damn, that is brutal. All right, well now the steak is almost done. We'll put this steak in the freezer so we don't waste it. All right, the five minutes are up. Let's go get the steak out and then we'll season the other side. I like how I'm always surprised when I cook. Like damn, I did a good job, didn't I? I'm just surprised I can even cook in the first place. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the steak and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side that we did the front side. Obviously with a Frenchie, <laughs> Frenchie. Fancy first date. You obviously need bread. Now I picked up some of my favorite bread sourdough. If you don't like sourdough, I don't like you. But what we're gonna do is cut it. Any last words for the bread executioner? None. Then you die. I only cut through one. <laughs> then you die again. I did it! Now, I do something a little weird because I really like salted bread. I don't know if you've ever had salted bread, it's amazing. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna get just your butter, right? And butter is often hard to smear on really soft bread, especially sourdough. So what you wanna do is you wanna warm it up. One of the ways I like to do it is put it in a bowl of really hot water. You got your bowl here, you're gonna get hot water. Okay, that's not working, we're using the microwave. And actually, we're gonna put this to the side because the steak is ready. <laughs> also, quick note, don't put aluminum in the microwave. I just did that, I'm an idiot. Let me cut into it first to see how good it is. I don't wanna eat raw steak. Mm. Yeah, that could definitely get cooked a little more. Glad I caught that. Into the bowl, into the microwave. Wow. While that's going for like 10 seconds, I'm gonna read one of your stories. Me and my date went ice skating and I fell on my back and injured it. My date thought I was faking the injury and decided to just leave? What? What an asshole. God, I don't... I hope guys aren't like that. God, like I'm reading all these stories and like guys are dicks. Like I'm not saying like, oh my God, I'm so different than other guys, but like damn, y'all are getting like abused out there. I'm gonna do something special to it that most people don't do, but I really like, I like to salt my bread. And it sounds weird, I know, but trust me, it's really good. It's not gonna be a lot of salt, it's gonna be a little bit that I almost poured meat mix on my bread. 
let's not do that today, Dan. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in the toaster for like less than a minute each. Oh, wow. That is really good looking. I feel like I go for a little longer, just like a tiny bit. So I don't wanna overdo it though. I don't wanna to be too rough, but it's really soft right now. And it's a little too red for my liking, so it's gonna go back in for like another minute and a half. The toast is going, so now I can answer more of your guys' questions. Toast is done. Wow. Once a dude asked if my hair was a wig and proceeded to cut my hair off. What the fuck? What is wrong with people? Why do people think that's okay? God damn, there's some evil people out there. Like literally, what the actual fuck? I can't believe someone would actually do that. That is horrible. I really hope that's a lie. I really hope that whatever that person said was a lie. I hope so, because God, that is horrendous. There are evil people out there. Stay safe. All right, we'll put this bread right there, and we'll start putting away this stuff, because we're almost done. Let's go get the steak now, shall we? God, that smells so good. And I think the steak's actually good now. Take this off and plate it now. Right there you go. Oh, that is... That beautiful look at steak. This is like the second time I've made like nice steak for myself, so this is great. We were watching Record of Ragnarok, and every time Aphrodite was on screen, he honked my boobs. Okay, for all y'all who haven't seen Record of Ragnarok, Aphrodite has a massive titties. Like, so big that she has people to hold them. The biggest bazongas. Listen, if my partner was okay with it and they had boobs, the steak looks really good. Hopefully it tastes good. I hope it tastes good. If I make this for a first date and it's gross, I'm gonna be very sad. He left me stranded over 10 kilometers away from my home. Speak American, how much is 10 kilometers? 6.21 miles, goddamn. Not fun, not fun. Be careful out there, y'all. It's an evil place. People are bad. First kiss in a high school bathroom? Well, that's not too bad. That's high school. That's high school. Everyone does weird shit in high school. Trust me. I would know. All right, let's actually try the steak now. See if it tastes any good. I, God, I hope so. Damn, that's solid. I'm surprised, this came up pretty decent. Yeah, oh my God. Next time, less pepper, a little more salt, maybe a little more onion too. The peppers, are, it's a little too much, but otherwise, it's really good. If you wanna make this and you wanna make this better than I did, less pepper. Wow, that's good steak. That's good shit. A little more spicy seasoning. I should've gotten my Cajun seasoning. That's what I should've, I should've got my Cajun seasoning. Damn it, let's try the salted bread now. It's salted bread. It's awesome. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. I'm amazing. Thank you. Thank you. First date, not bad. This is pretty good shit. I'm enjoying it. And it's soft too. It's not like hard or anything. It's good. Well, darling, thank you so much for coming to our first date. And thank you for telling me about your horrible dates before because I'm obviously 10 times better than all of them. After reading those, I, 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 I don't want to brag, but like, I'm not going to throw up on you or like, I did throw up on a second date though. That was funny. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment some meals I should make in the future. Because this steak, mwah, delicious. I love you all. Please take care of yourselves. Get food, get water. The world is a bad place, so let's make it better. Go out and do one good thing. Check in on a friend you haven't talked to in a while. Take care of your animals, your pets, your family members. And uh, again, everyone, uh, I love you all. Take care of yourselves, y'all. Stay safe out there. Peace, bitches.